The plan, People's Liberation Army Navy, just released a video showing the launch of a new hypersonic missile from a Type 055 cruiser. The new missile outwardly resembles the CM-401 design, with the addition of a large booster phase. The CM-401 is roughly analogous to the Iskander missile although its diameter is only 600 mm. It is possible that the new missile is related to the older CM-401 family, although the resemblance may be coincidental. And it may have a smaller diameter. The YJ-21 characteristics are unknown because there has been no official notice of the test launch. The footage, on the other hand, implies a cold-launched, possibly two-stage, missile, implying an ant-ship ballistic missile with HGV. The control surfaces are rather small which means this is likely not an anti-air missile. According to open data, the VLS fitted aboard the Type 55s can accommodate missiles with the following maximum measurements, length of 9 meters and diameter of 0.85 meters. If this missile turns out to be the hypersonic YJ-21, the Type 055 cruisers would arguably become the most heavily armed warships worldwide. The missile was fired from a Type 055 Renhai class cruiser. With eight ships already in the water, the Chinese Navy's Type 055 Renhai class cruiser is making waves. It is undoubtedly the most impressive surface combatant in the plan, Chinese Navy, lineup, making it a natural focus of observers. New intelligence suggests that at least two more are under construction in Dalian, China.